So let's just settle into our meditation posture. And just notice how it is you're turning up this morning. Are you breathing? I mean, I know we all are breathing, but how are you breathing? Are you breathing through your nose, your mouth? Are you holding your breath? So just pay attention to the steady flow of air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And then check your body position. Particularly focusing on your spine. You have a string of pearls of light that's lengthening. Put some space in between those vertebrae. Imagine you're getting a little bit taller. And imagine your head is just tipping forward very slightly, putting a little bit of length in the back of the neck. If your eyes were open, they'd be down, looking at a spot in front of you about two inches away. Relax your jaw. And imagine you're coming to the crown of your head and just relax the scalp. And really try and notice as all these very tiny muscles in your face start to release and relax. The forehead, the eyes, the back of the eyes the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth. Relax the back of the head, back of the neck. Allow your shoulder blades to drop down. Allow your shoulders to drop. Relax the throat and the chest and the belly and your limbs. Just relax your hands, maybe stretch them a bit, release them. And just pay attention to your feet, particularly if they're on the floor. Maybe you can feel the ground through the soles of your feet. Just be aware of that. And you want to be sitting on your sits bones. So not leaning back off them, just sitting upright on top of them. Unless, of course, you're not feeling very well and you need to lean up against the couch or a cushion or whatever. Best if you can sit upright. And then breathe. Notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. Notice all the subtle sensations as the inhalation of the air is flowing in through the nostrils and out again. If there are any sounds in your environment, Just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to investigate with your mind. Then bring the mind back to the breath. And just notice what's arising.
but don't hang on to it. Try not to engage. Just allow the thoughts to arise without judgment, without criticism, without opinions, without a story. Just watch. And place yourself on the bank of your river. And while you're sitting on the bank of the river, watching the river flow, you're free from the river. And bring to mind some people of your life, the ones you love, and just really feel and see them there with you. And then there's those folk who perhaps wish weren't in your life, maybe. And then there's all of us strangers, every day, we see them. If we're not even stepping out of the house, they're on the news. And just remembering though, while we have fixed ideas about these people, well, usually the strangers, we're not particularly caring about much. But the, the ones we don't like and the ones we like, we, we're pretty clear in our mind. We have see all these amazing qualities in the ones we love. The ones we don't, not so much. But the thing is, we all have the same potential. We're all equal, actually, when it comes down to it, in our old human way. We all just want to be happy. We're always looking for it. We're never quite finding it. We're always wishing to be free from suffering. Somehow always managing to run into problems or some kind of distress. So I think we'll do this meditation on Tara this morning for the benefit of all these uh, people of our life and by extension for all sentient beings. So just bring the mind back to the breath and we'll just do uh, maybe one round of our nine round breathing. So just remembering as you're breathing in through the right nostril, just imagine it's blissful radiant white light. You pause at the top of the breath and then breathe out through your left all your um, unhealthy desire, attachment, grasping, neediness. This is also attachment to you wanting to be the, the things to be the way you want them to be. So breathe all of that out as thick black yucky smoke. We just do that three times. Then breathe in through the left. Make sure you're imagining blissful radiant light filling you completely and then breathe out through the right all your anger, bitterness and grudges and disappointments. Just breathe that out. Stick black yucky smoke, do that three times and then ignorance, both nostrils. So we'll just start, do it in your own time.
and just feel. Maybe you've been able to access a little bit of stillness. Now imagine in the space before you, <clears throat> excuse me, about six to eight feet away, and there's Tara. You can look at that image if you wish. And I thought she looks a little bit more relatable than a, a line drawing or a, a, a painting, a statue. So really imagine she's really there in front of you. Try and really sense that, this golden, beautiful golden face. They put robes on her in the monastery. I think it's Drup Drop from Bichet's monastery. Way on the top of the hill in the Swayambu, you have to Make your way through quite a few monkey tribes to get there. And there she is. She's a manifestation of all that is positive action energy. You can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher, your lama, your spiritual mentor. However you see this um, person in your life this one who's guiding you spiritually, if you have one. Imagine that is the mind of that person <clears throat> manifesting in this form for your benefit. And the way we visualize her is uh, her body is green, emerald green. <clears throat> translucent and radiant. And you can imagine she's very big or very small, whatever works for you. And you can't see it in the photograph, but her left leg is drawn up, <clears throat> excuse me, signifying her complete control over her desire energy. And her right leg is extended, indicating that she is ready to rise up to the aid of all beings at any moment, she'll come to your, your aid. And her left hand is in, at her heart in the refuge gesture with the palm facing outward and the thumb and the finger are touching. And the remaining three fingers are raised. And her right hand is on her right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations. The palm facing outward and the fingers are loosely pointing down. So in each hand, she's holding the stem of a blue Utpala flower. And this symbolizes unblocking the central channel. So she's exquisitely beautiful and she's smiling lovingly at you and her clothes are you know, celestial silks in the Royal Indian style. And she's wearing beautiful gems. So she has this five-pointed crown and there's jewelry on there, jewelry around her neck, around her wrists, around her waist, around her ankles. 
on her fingers, on her arms. She, you can imagine she's sparkling light. So imagine she's there. Focus on this visualization if you can. Opening your heart to the energy of Tara's. And if visualization is difficult, you can open your eyes and look at the statue, or you can just imagine this ball of light, this beautiful energy, green energy in front of you. So next, think of some of your problems, something, some issues that you have right now, your needs, your aims, and make a prayer to Tara from your heart, just asking her for help. And she responds at once by sending streams of light into you. And light flows from her forehead to yours, eliminating all obstacles and negativities of your body as we recite her mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham. 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 So now imagine red light flowing from her throat into your throat. Eliminating all the obstacles and negativities of the speech as we recite the mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham. 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 And imagine your speech is now completely purified. So next, imagine blue light flowing from her heart to yours, eliminating all the obstacles and negativities of the mind as we recite her mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham. 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 
Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 And imagine you are now completely free of all the negativities of your body, of your speech, of your mind, and that you've received all the inspiration and energy to accomplish your objectives, to achieve your aims. And you just imagine the mantra just kind of as it's as you've been reciting it, sometimes you can imagine the mantra inside of you just floating around, purifying, energizing you on many different levels, not just the physical level. So imagine Tara coming to the crown of your head, a couple of inches above the crown of your head. She's facing the same way as you and she dissolves into green light. This green light just dissolves and absorbs into you through the crown of your head to your heart chakra. And your mind, the mind of your spiritual guide, your teacher, and Tara's mind, merge indistinguishably and imagine you're experiencing tranquility, clarity and bliss.
Okay, let's just dedicate all the positive energy we've created doing this meditation to the benefit of all those people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. And have a wonderful day, everybody. Lots of love. Thank you so much for joining. Nice to see you here, Hin. I'm glad you made it. <laughs>